Yo, it's me again, F Kosh here, and this is Random Breakout, Yoga Cast Season. Alright, yes, I'll help you out, Miss Elkis. Oh, what? Why game speed will. Um, game speed. Pokey speed does game speed. Um, okay, fine. Look, man, like. I don't, I don't trust my, what do you call it again? Uh, my ability to resist the lag, or so called, you know? Um, well, this works too, I guess. <sighs> sure. I'll take Dark Enchantress. I don't want to take Lime, although she's better. Mainly because of the fact that she just... She has that bitter bit jelly buff and I don't trust my luck to not give me that thing every time I hit like an obstacle. So there it is. I mean our main objective here is is looking for well coins and coin giving cookies, so yeah. But it seems that we don't have that kind of luck right now, unfortunately. So we're stuck with this stuck enchantress thing. Well I mean at least you got a buff out of it, I suppose. Anyways. So like how do you call that again? Ah, yes. No, there's this game I really, really like. You know, I can't play it because I'm too broke before it. But like, we have a DLC coming out and I'm really excited, you know. It's, it's called Rain World. Yeah, I really like it. I love the art and I love the lore and everything. I don't know why. But like, I, can't, I just want to stop thinking about it. Like, it's going to be out on Thursday, you know. I'm so excited, like unreasonably so, you know. Especially considering since I can't even play it, and I have to wait for other people to like post videos of it to even be able to see what's going on. Just haha, you know. I guess to me that doesn't really matter. Yeah, one day, one day, I tell you, if I if I ever get the money, I'm definitely gonna like, I'm definitely gonna get a good computer. I'm gonna buy the game. I'm gonna play it. <sighs> Yeah, it's a nice dream to have, I suppose. Now oh, then, let's talk about something more recent, I suppose. So, you know, it's been pretty much over half a decade. A decade? No idea. But, but like, it's been at least, like, near over half a decade or so, which I haven't, like, done any graph questions. You know, it's, like, in, in, in primary school or, like, I think secondary school, they'll, help, they'll, they'll teach you, like, questions about graphs and everything, you know? Then you have to draw them and do this like graph paper and make them into little algebra and everything. But I couldn't do that. Like, the only time I could do that was when I was in sec 1 and when I was basically the first time I was taught it, you know, which was basically what uh, was my age then? Was it 12 or 13? I assume 13? Okay, yeah, 13 years old. Like, literally, that's the only time I ever, ever succeeded in oh coins but um i want to pull for cheesecake okay anyways as we were saying just now um so it's like i i just I've, I've never been able to do graph questions okay in math i'm just i suck okay i'm horrible i'm bad all the adjectives you could use around the so yeah i'm all of them and so it's like i don't know maybe i should be ashamed because like I'm this old and you know I don't understand something this simple but whatever man you know uh, learning experience is a learning experience for what it is I just today for the first time ever I did a graph question oh my god like I did it finish you know like I actually understood what I was what was going on oh my god like wow this is like a miracle for the first time in years and sure, it may be like the most elementary sort of graph question. Oh my god, okay. Look, it's been years, okay. Unless you, sp unless you have spent like five years of school just straight up just staring at graph questions every time you go to an exam and just like totally giving up in your mind and just taking a nap instead. Like, like unless you've experienced that, you will know this, this, this jubilation I'm telling. Wow, okay. Man, I don't even like math, but like. Wow, okay, this is something so I don't know, man. Satisfying, I guess, relieving or being able to understand something like that after so long of me being just absolute crap at it. 
even if it's like the most absolute simple thing to do, you know, like elementary level kind of stuff, but I still, yeah, I can't help it, you know. Anyway, so if you're wondering why we chose banana, uh, coins, coins, we need coins. He doesn't give too bad of points and I don't trust my luck to give me, well, cheesecake. So we're gonna deal with this for now. I've heard though that I've, I saw some YouTuber play this uh, um, map and apparently um, the path I chose last episode actually wasn't the best one. I think for the first one, for 10,000 coins, you should pick the first option because you will give you the equivalent of a legendary buff there. Because if you choose the third one, then you'll get two random epic buffs which is I mean, good but not exactly what we want, to be honest. What we want is obviously a legendary buff because that's obviously better. It gives you about 7% slower energy drain, so that's cool. So later I'll be trying that out and seeing if that works. And uh, I didn't understand what's going on in the video because I'm, I speak English. The dude is Korean. But you know what, man? It's like common commonalities across like languages, right? You know, Cookie Run. <laughs> the spirit of Cookie Run flows through us both. Whatever that is. My God, so cheesy, huh? <laughs> but cheesy is right. I love cheese. It's my number one love in the world. <clears throat> Anyways, so I have a goal, I guess. Maybe it's to reach like 1k subscribers or something by the end of this year. I don't know. I mean, I can't exactly see it happen to be honest, but I guess you're supposed to have goals for New Year's and everything. So I figured that maybe I should have one, like, I don't know, be able to get 1k subscribers at least by the end of the year. Um, and how I'm gonna work towards the goal, you ask? Well, I guess just main videos, yeah? Just make videos and do what I can. Um, you know, one unfortunate thing that happened lately though was my earphones, I told you about them last episode, they broke and everything. So now I just can't well, use them, which is a bit of a bummer. And because it's, you know, Chinese New Year and everything, so the sellers take on a vacation. So it's like, the thing will only come about February or so, which is 10 plus days from now. Ah, but I can deal with it, you know. I can deal with it. One, two, there we go. One, two, one, two. Okay, there, there we go. There we go. There should be enough coins. Yes, Miss Alchemist. Please give me your presents. And give it, and I think this one. Yeah, yeah. Seven percent slow. It's basically the equivalent of a. Ooh, I see. But why is chili pepper at seventy percent? I don't understand. She's not that good, right? I know she's a special event, but I mean, but this lady here has bird coin. Oh, let's do it. You know, I need hashtag coins anyways. And red chili isn't that bad to be honest. She's been buff like uh, far more recently than how do you call it, Miss Miss Pearly over there. I'm not sure how to call her at the very least. 43 million, I guess it's not that bad to be honest, but it could be better. But hey, man, it's not like gingerbread levels of score, so we can live with it. The treasures leave some, leave much to be desired, to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> it's like the dynamite's the only usable thing here. Yeah. Oh, wait, one, two. Oh, man, that was a bit unlucky then. We missed a lot of. Um, quite a lot of forty colors again. Ah, rainbow badges. But there it is. Yeah, it must be because of her pet. I thought that maybe she was her pick was so high because of her ability to like I don't know steal treasures and everything. But it's not. It's just her pet. Her pet just gives you coins, which is great. I wonder if I'll be able to reach about ten k in this run. Not sure. We do need like 20k to be honest with you, so I'm not exactly too hopeful here. But it is what it is, okay? And we got a nice shiny little epic buff just now, so we are all as prepped up as we can be. Okay, so speaking of chili, I would say I'm not super good with chili. I mean, at least for me, I'm a very picky eater. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm quite picky to be honest, you know? Like, I call it the only things I eat 
that have like tree inside is probably just like curry or something or laksa I mean, my favorite is just roti prata with laksa that's that's the best but other than that i don't really take chili too well i would say it's not really a favorite of mine to be honest okay let's get the coins here there we go hmm we are 24th place which doesn't bode well but all right you know you know how people like have challenges where they just like eat spiciest chili pepper they can find and see how long they can last well i'm kind of wondering if i just i just i don't know man like i don't know how it feels like for that kind of thing no i'm not gonna choose you cauliflower i i want coins 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 please coins Co Okay, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. I mean, if if they're giving it, we'll take it. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like something bad is gonna happen or whatever. Man, I guess blackberry count as a coin cookie. I don't know, man. I want coins, but at the same time, though, all that epic buff is just too good to pass up. Like you know. You know, it's just too good. No, either way, it's what we have right now, I guess. So we all have to do is just hope this works. Mm -hmm. and there we go. Okay, one, two. I mean, we are not really running on like too much of buffs right now, but you can seriously still tell there's some sort of serious lag going on. So there's that. So you know, lag. Mm -hmm. You get used to it after a while, I suppose. But it's never welcome in this household, I tell you as much. Oh yeah. You know right now, it's like... I don't know how to tell you this, but... One of the reasons why I sometimes take so long to upload videos is... Well, part of the fact is, well... Um... My drive just refuses to work with me, of course, you know. There's technical issues. But I mean, the other part of it is... Basically... My computer is too crappy handle the video editing like i don't even do anything special i swear to god like you would know if you've watched my videos before literally all i do is just um take out like the 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 all the parts of the video where i just don't talk and i just keep silent like all those parts i just don't put in the video like i'm just doing cutting basic cutting you know like there's basically no video editing at all but then my computer refuses to work with me. It's like, at first it's okay. But then after a while it gets annoyed with you, know. And then it just starts lying on the floor and then ignoring you. If that's what I had to call it. So it's like, if I want to cut something, I have to right click on the on the piece that I, I want to delete. But then you see, because at this point, you know, the computer is a bit, uh, you know, how to call it. So now, hey, oh, anyways. So by now, right? The computer is like, you know what? I'm gonna give you five seconds, you know, for every button click you have to make. And, you know, my videos are like one hour long on average, like nearing that much of time, you know. So it's just seriously annoying. You gotta wait for like five seconds every single time I wanna make a single button press. I'm very sad about it. <laughs> oh well. Maybe one day we'll get a better computer? I don't know, man. If we are rich enough, I suppose. Rich. I would like to be rich. You know, I remember I saw this really interesting video on YouTube. Like, I don't know if you know this, but I quite like watching video essays. I mean, whether it says background, kind of, <laughs> talking stuff or, like, legit, I don't... I just, I just quite like watching them, to be honest. I find them quite informative. You know? You know? So I saw one and it's like... It's one of those things where, 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 how do you call it now? I mean, it makes me realize that, you know, like one issue is not just central to it itself. It's like, you know how climate change, hey, what? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. I don't know why the fire blast didn't react, but okay. <sighs> What's up with the hitboxes in this game, yo? It's not fun. But anyways, so you know how it with climate change and everything? Um... No, you think about climate change as in like something self-contained, you know. Like I would say climate change is, you know, basically only exclusive to, I would say, carbon footprints, you know. Or using more, uh, if you recycle things, you know, biodegradable stuff. 
stopping single-use plastics. All the stuff, you know, like seizing the means of production or whatever the shit. Well, thing is, is that climate change on its own isn't exactly a problem that you can just seriously fix. It's not an issue that can really be prioritized. No, it's because it's like, because issues intersect, you know, like, let's just say, you know, to combat, um, I would say, uh, climate change and everything, you know, it's like, you have to focus on equality first. I mean, with the way, like, with the great wealth disparity in between people as it is right now, you know, it's like, there won't be enough power, let's just say, because there's too much power for one person to singularly hold. So if one person just decides, you know, to not help on the effort, then that's just not, it's just not gonna happen, you know? Like, like, um, the helping of climate change is not gonna happen, you see? So it's like, part of a reason why we need to combat that is because we need, what was it again? Oh jeez, I can't remember. Well, anyways, okay, wait, wait, just think this through, Francis, what was, what was I gonna say? One, two, three. We were talking about climate change, and then we were talking about ah yes, inequality. So then inequality in itself is always and it's something that also intersects with a whole bunch of other issues, such as you know like maybe government welfare, you know like public housing, that kind of stuff. You know like better education systems, you know equality across genders and whatever. Like that stuff is especially important if you think about it. If we don't have equality, right? What this means is that even if the majority of people want to save the earth or anything, if you just have a few powerful people who don't want that, well, we're just basically screwed, you know, like we are right now. And what this is also that it also has to do with the means of production. So, you know how, for example, right, um, like we have like coal mines and like oil rigs and whatever in like a bunch of other countries out there in the Middle East or whatever, and so it's like. They use, um, well, human trafficking to do that, you know, and it's illegal and they get underpaid and everything. And a lot of times, like, conditions and work conditions are extremely unsafe, you know. A lot of, like, workplace abuse happens, like, the people that have no rights, you know, that kind of thing. But how this intersects with climate change, in a way, is also the fact that there's no moderation. If there were moderation of these kind of things, let's say, if there were moderation of the coal mines, uh, is what went to the coal mines and how much we took up from them or used them and stricter regulation then wouldn't that mean there would also be a better ways for us to uh, restrict the use of like say coal you know for more important things when it comes to like climate change and everything because with better regulation of course comes well better res restrictions you know better ways to stop climate change from completely screwing all of us over if you get what I mean, yeah. And the whole human trafficking thing is also an issue, I would say. If I had to be honest here, human trafficking tra ties into this as something like because you don't. These are these are like um um I would say unidentified. You know, these people don't have any like IDs or anything. They aren't registered in any like country's database as officially there. So you don't really have any protections. You know. And without any uh, like protections of their own, people can easily coerce them into into doing something they don't want, even if they really don't want to do it. Such as I don't know, logging, you know, something that destroys the environment. They're doing something illegal for the sake of survival because they can't get a job because they are undocumented, like that kind of thing. So it's like all these issues just intersect with one another in some kind of way, you know. A lot of nuance that my brain is just too stupid for a lot of the time, but I mean, at least this much I can understand, you know? It's already frying my brain, <laughs> as you can see just now. Oh well, but it is what it is. Yeah, and um, I mean, I guess it's maybe a bit idealistic to say this, but it's alright. Sometimes it's not idealistic, what else Not idealistic, but it's like, I have this wish that it's like, you know, can we all just get along, man? Like, just, just stop fighting, you know? It's like, can we all just be like decent human beings, you know? Like, like stop it. Like, stop trying to fight other people. Stop trying to, like, equality, you know? Equity, you know? Like, be nice people, you know? But I, I, I know it's not this simple, but 
it's just it's it's nice okay to think of it that way you know it's like if you just wish that everybody could be a saint and then maybe we could just stop all this all this all this strife we have but I mean it's not gonna happen I suppose and that's what dreams are I guess you know I do this thing huh? that reminds me of nothing well so I mean, I'm, I really don't know who's my audience here, and I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but whatever. If you're here, you're here. Hey, hey, this is my channel, and if you guys subscribe to me, man, I didn't force you, alright? It's, it's just totally of your own volition. I'm just saying. But anyways, so I know that mostly you guys should know about feminism, right? So, okay, so the, the Google-defined definition of feminism is, um, I think equality of women's rights. Uh, as advocated for by f females or women themselves. And I think one interesting thing is about that is like, how do you call it? Many people have many different definitions of feminism. Like how I would say in a different country, like maybe the US, you know, um, there would be some lady living out in the suburbs or something. And for her, um, her type of gender equality and the focus of that gender equality is the pay gap between her and let's say a man in like the workplace that she knows but whereas for another person feminism can mean equality as in equality as in we have better education and that we also strive to have men that also make their way into uh, conventionally women dominated sectors of you say occupations or work let's say and that's like what feminism means as equality so it's like it's one of those things where it's like um, when you when you want when you want to talk about issues like that, I think it's very important to you know really define stuff. Like I really didn't think about it that much before like watching that one video, but now that I think about it, yeah, I think it's super important. Like if you ever want to get into a debate or just a conversation about this kind of stuff, or something, I mean I think it's 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 quite important that you first strike up a baseline at the very least, so you guys just have a common um, ground to talk about and build up from so you can get, you guys can just like peacefully debate with each other or just answer each other's questions or talk with each other about the viewpoints you know and learn from each other for conducive for like space or whatever I mean it's like if you don't do that and you just throw people into a conversation where people just have differing opinions and viewpoints and you don't tell them what like any certain word means you know and it, that's, that's not like a debate or a conducive conversation, you know, that's mostly just, well, it's just gonna be an argument of people screaming at each other and shouting at each other, because nobody gets what the other person is saying because they don't have anything to build a standard ground of on, so there's that. I guess Alchemist, uh, you know, I think it says a bit that I... And on my sixth runner, and I still haven't gotten enough points yet to even like see my dear alchemist come back. Uh huh. What a <coughs> sorry. <coughs> ah, hmm. ah, sorry for that. I don't know why. I, I, ah, my throat suddenly felt itchy for some reason. I'm gonna take a drink of water if you don't mind. All right. Oh, there we go. So you always gotta keep a cup with you on your table or whenever you do recording. You no. Know, I don't know how people do like seven or eight hour long recordings. I guess ma mm -hmm. I jumped there, I jumped there, that's not very deaf this is mm -hmm. whatever. Anyways. Anyways I'm not gonna fight it. What was I saying just now? Ah uh, yes. I don't know how people can do like 7 or 8 hour streams in one go, you know? I mean, I personally, like, that's something I aspire to be like, I suppose, but, I mean, wow. It's a seriously long period of time to go, you know, just talking to yourself to like a camera. I mean, I guess it's more bearable if you're live streaming, you know? I mean, I would like to try live stream if it weren't for the fact that I wouldn't have anybody to talk with. So there's that. I think it would be cool, you know, to have people to talk with only, I guess, you know, on a live stream or something. It would be nice, I guess. I think that's just something real quaint about um, it being able to communicate with someone that you just seriously don't know. Like, someone that could come from anywhere, like super far away. You know? 
Like I'm from Asian, a lot of time I see like Americans. The last time I checked my statistics, apparently like what Un- United States, apparently like people from the United States at least that's what they identify themselves as. Well, those were the people most common. You look at my videos. So there's that. I guess they just tend to dominate like English media or something. So there's that. Okay, one, two. There we go. One, two. There we go. Ah, coin, coin, coin. No. Why well, you got be like that, huh? But okay. All right. Yeah, definitely gonna have to try this afterwards because RNG, you know RNG. Uh, also, that fall just now is totally my bad. To be honest with you, so you really can't say anything about the uh, uh, Miss Alchemist for that. To be honest, no, no, no. Coins. I'm in 18th grade and it's not looking good. I'm telling you, 254 million. <laughs> I just want to win, bro, bro, just let me win again. Whatever. As long as I don't end up in like, fucking 20th, no, 21st place or something. Like, like I did that one time. As long as I don't do that, I, I think I'm fine, honestly. No. You gotta learn from mistakes and everything. Coins, give me the coin. Yeah. <sighs> I'm going crazy, you know. Or I'm already crazy in the first place, doesn't matter. Hmm. Alright, so let's find something to talk about again. Wow, commentary is hard, man. How do people do it? I don't know. I guess... Entertainment. Um... So I guess I should tell you about this new... Book idea I have again. I mean I have like, I don't know... Five of them, like... Three times a day. Not three times a day, sorry. I have like five of them like every week or so. And then I never get around to actually doing anything about my story ideas, but whatever. It's nice to dream, you know, don't you think? But hey. So for what it is, um I quite like time loops, like I've told you before. And recently I read this story about um transmigration. There's basically this lady and then she transmigrated into a Book. and actually she was the mother of the main antagonist of this so-called book here yeah? and for what happened she ac- she actually abandoned in the story itself in the book itself like she abandoned the main antagonist and then the main antagonist just led life of misery and everything you know just the usual kind of stuff so what happens though is that our main character transmigrates into this book and she takes on the role of the mother. What happens is that she actually does not remember her memories until the fateful moment when she like trips on the ground and like hits her head or something. Before that, she just does remember. So what this means is that before that, she was still the mother from the story that abused her kid. If you get what I mean. So, well, not great. They have this irreparable relationship already. And how this has a timing with a time loop is, uh, I would say the fact that I want to make a story about this dude who also similarly transmigrates into a different world. But what happens is that, in essence, uh, oh, I see. Anyways, okay, what happens is that in essence, um, a main character is he has had his whole like I don't know memories of his previous life, his whole life like. It isn't really the sort of I bang my head on a staircase and I suddenly remember everything that I forgot. So I think no. Like, our guy just remembers everything. And one day what happens is that he just goes on this rural flip train. You know? And then one day he meets the main antagonist of the story like right? Yeah. But then what happens is that okay, so this main antagonist is a kid, right? And because one of the books that the a main character transmigrated in was a big favorite of the main characters but they really really like the antagonist because the antagonist was one of those like anti-heroes if that's what you want to call it like sympathizers villains or what you call it yeah like the sort of person where you're like um he's horrible and repulsive and i hate him but at the same time it's like you gotta say man if like the rest of the other people in his life weren't so 
such such uh uh how to call it uh bags of grave world say then you know he wouldn't have turned out this way you know it's one of those things i'll say so what happens is that our main character who feels very strongly for his main protagonist tries to migrate in and then one day out of nowhere uh he's he meets up with the antagonist okay um i think i'm not sure i'm not sure how i want to make the encounter happen though i think i want to make it less like a part of the story already like the story has already started in some other part of the world and then our main character just coincidentally meets the antagonist like more plot line is currently progressing you know and then so what happens is that next our main character is like wait what if i could change the fate of this random guy or dude because it's like technically he turns my character into this book right so that's that's one thing that's different if you think about it and uh you know people win people like my guy also has read quite the amount of i would say ha usia or sensia novels in his last life so he's very acquainted with the idea of um, um going against the heavens um um cough all right only 60 please there we go maybe we get 15 i hope there we go anyways to generally speaking what happens is that well our hero tries very hard as an our main character our dear main character tries very hard but then the world in the world the main character gets killed because he got he cause he got involved with the antagonist but then dun 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 what happens is that we ow oh, hey because the i don't okay i don't i haven't thought out of the reason why this happened but okay just for some random reason or so i don't know whether it's because he made a deal with the devil or whatever the shit but <laughs> a main character the first time he dies he'll go back he'll go back in time loop you see a time loop and then and the way this time loop works is that well at first it starts out with him just going back like slowly in time like, like let's just say um he dies from a uh, heart attack okay then what happens is that next he wakes up in an incident where about two hours before his heart attack death you know he wakes up in that time before that but you see if he dies to that same heart attack again what will happen is that instead of waking up uh two hours earlier he will instead wake up like one day earlier so it's like you can see how this works right so let's just say how he was just stuck on anything or he just continuously dies well he's just gonna go progressively back and back and back and further and further and further back in time bit by bit so it's like hey pain you know pain and suffering because you know the more you try mm, the more chances you'll fail if you know what i mean yeah um and i'm planning to have my main character go over right when the perso expresso if you get what i mean you know a big cup of that old bit of sugary cup of coffee in the morning you know just to heal the soul for a little bit before we go off and tend to our boring lives still and we can just find solidarity and suffering with our main character here maybe it's venting it's definitely venting you know i have to tell you something but all my novels and all my stories they are all they are self inserts Oh, am I ashamed to admit that? I would be if it weren't for the fact that I'm not writing hentai, so I don't really find it that bad, man. I don't. I really don't. Like, I'm not writing like, like like hentai, authentical monsters, you know. So like, I think I'm. I think I'm great as far as I'm concerned. I thought it is the reason I'm writing. So so for myself, I mean like, I don't know if it's because I also want other people to see it. But I just think the only story ideas are things that I just really like in the first place and the ways I just really want to implement them the ways I got just really inspired by other creators so to say that to just you know say that I wouldn't be making this stuff for myself is just I would say a complete um life it's kind of disingenuous if you think about it oh ah cheesecake then this cheesecake you finally made your grand appearance why have you taken so long? Uh, I am sweating, I tell you, it's so warm. God. I want to come, I want to come, I want to come. 
Uh, whatever. That reminds me. Also, I press the jump button. Then it's not my fault. I swear. Okay. Anyways. All right. Going back to conversation. Being yesterday night, I kept waking up in the middle of the night because mosquitoes. Are... I hate it. Mosquitoes are the worst thing ever. You know. Like some might question the ethics of I don't know. Uh, tweaking the tweaking the like the genes of mosquitoes to make to make it so they don't breed anymore. But like, hey man. I'm I'm not a scientist that's the, the government's gonna decide it for me. I'm not I'm not a part of this conversation about ethics, you know. I'm just a guy who does not like mosquitoes at all. Thank you very much, sir. Alright? No mosquitoes for me, please. I got putting all over my, my legs, you know. At first I was kinda confused because I thought, is it ants? Bro, is it ants? Of course it's like for what it is, I hadn't heard any mosquitoes in my house. My house isn't on like the first or second story, so I figured that, you know, at least that wouldn't happen, but it did, it did, that's for sure. So I was just waiting there and I was wondering and scratching at my legs and like going like, why? Why did this happen? Is it because like, I haven't changed my bitches or why? Is it because I have ants or ant bites or weird insects or what? No, it's just mosquitoes. After a while, just sitting there in silence, just contemplating my life decisions. You could hear the familiar buzzing sound of mosquitoes in the air. Completely freaked me out, I'll tell you, to be honest. I did not like it at all. I did not like it. Mosquitoes, mosquito. Mm -hmm. And then, like, it's just, wow, you know. I just don't like mosquitoes, okay? I don't like them, alright? I don't like them, okay? I don't like it when they bite me, okay? I have enough skin problems as it is, I don't need any more, like, well, inflammation, if you get what I mean. I've been lucky enough not to get dengue or malaria yet, but... What's up, brother? Yo. Hey. Hey, game. Hey. Hey, man. You wanna... You wanna work? Or... I mean, I've got full Wi-Fi, if that's what you're asking. Mm -hmm. Mate. 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 Pal. Buddy. Friend. You wanna, like, give me a response? That's not fair. I have three bars. Look at that. I have three bars, so look at that thing. Whatever. Okay, come on. Just work. Thank you very much. Good for you. I'm gonna get out of the game first, alright. Well, I'll be back after a short intermission. Well, folks, we're back here again, and let's hope it works. Alright. Please, okay, thank you. Alright, so all I knew was just to. Uh, Crap out of the game, I guess. There's it. Ah, not that. My bum. You know how I feel about this. I feel sad. I feel very sad, man. Very sad. Why would you do this to me? Why would you? Okay, just just stop it. You know, Francis, calm down. It's not that big of a deal. It's just game. Mm -hmm. Why? Ah, why ah? Why? Wait some more. Wait some more. What have I done to offend you? <laughs> what the Maya? Huh? Ni man. Walla. Shh, shh. No cussing. No cussing. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. Oh. scene, okay? Why we cheer? Bro, I chose cheese to pick it. Okay, fine, whatever. It's. I'll be my RNG. It's. I'll be my RNG. One, two. One, one, two. One, two. There we go. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm very sad. Very, very, very sad. Oh well, this is one way of how, you know, alchemists can completely screw you over if you give her the coin she wants in the world. It's great, brothers! I'm crying, you know? Precious diamonds. 
Oh, just gone now. And never gonna come back from this. But the only thing I can hope for now is that I'll be able to get Ayah, 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 okay. Oh my god. Ah, shield, thank god. I'm not faint. Stop it. Come on, come peace, you know, like, follow the zen or whatever the spiritual people say. No, I find your inner, find your inner peace, make amends with the world and your faith. You know, become Buddha, abstain from anger. <laughs> I can't even be bothered to try again on whatever. Let's just hope we get something good next round. <sighs> yeah, you know what? This works too, man. I'm not gonna try my luck anymore. Hey man, Miss Miss Orange, Miss Citrus. I you know, completely welcome your presence here. Uh huh. Why? Right. At least you didn't get stuck with a ginger brave, I guess. I guess. And I mean, the treasures she has are pretty new, for what you call them. So, all right then. You know, it's not it's not that bad as long as we just can get plenty of. It won't be a deficit, you know, like, I'm just saying, you know, you know, like, things can always turn up for the better, yeah. So be a hope in the daily life, as they all say. Believe in the tiny snake god, and he will answer you. Uh, I wish for the tiny snake god to dream me my dreams and gift upon me the author's help so I can continue reading that book on whatever. If you didn't know what I'm talking about, you don't need the ball either. Just uh, rent. Because I'm very annoyed right now. Annoyed, I think. Oh, I'm just kind of tired. Yeah, I'm tired. That's, this is how I act like when I'm tired. It doesn't seem like it, but whenever I'm tired, I just lose control of just everything and I start acting crazy with this. I'm rambling on about everything and nothing at all. <sighs> it's like my version of tired. It's like the typical version of somebody else version of like drunk, you know, drunk on alcohol or something. Cause when I'm dying, I just can't bother to just do anything. So I go around and the world starts off. Uh, you know, you don't even know. You don't even know. It's it's not great. It's not good. Yeah, waste of more. Wow, bro, been completely screwed over by alchemist. I won't forget this, lady. I won't forget this. I will never forget this grudge, Miss Alchemist. I will never forgive you. Ah, oh, you have caused my life pain. I am now in debt. I'm now in diamond debt. The worst debt of all. Sigh. You know. Whatever, man. Whatever. At least we aren't that year. Isn't that right, guys? Isn't that right? We aren't the gear face. Oh, I'm sad, you know. You see how sad my face is right now? Just imagine it. Imagine a cat. I'm crying its eyes out right now. Some the manliest guy on earth, baby. Gosh. Anyways, diamond pouch, there you go. Hey, hey, give me a bit of use for your plus jellies. Thank you very much. Now if you could just keep this pace up, maybe we could get higher than the 22. Of course, it just doesn't happen, you know. Cause why would it? Just why? Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. Come on, please. Please. Man. Please. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> you know what, it's, it's fine, whatever. Very sad, I very sad. One, two, there we go. <laughs> 20 second place. Well, we're gonna have to live with it, and I suppose. Here we are, guys. Two, 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 two. Beautiful number. Wait a moment, I just lost a thousand diamonds from that, didn't I? No, a thousand and a hundred. I'm so sad right now. Look at me. Whatever. Oh, let's look at these guys anyways. We thank them for their participation. Thank you very much for being here and thanks for watching and bye. Love ya. As always.